Good evening and welcome. You're watching the 7 o'clock news on CNC3. I'm Ria Rambali. I'm Ryan Bechu. I'm Joe Novello with Sport. Justin Marik is on assignment. And I'm Colleen Hussain with your weather. Let's tell you what's making the news tonight. Days after they hand-delivered a letter, the Prime Minister is open to meeting with relatives of the deceased LMCS divers. With more than five reports made to the police, the Dental Association wants action against quack dentists. Another UNC member supports calls for internal party elections but says it doesn't mean defiance of the current leadership. And in sport, Eve proud of his players' progress despite playing defeat. Mostly hot and sunny conditions set to continue this week. I'll have the details in tonight's weather forecast. The medical board is tonight raising concern about the increasing number of doctors operating illegally in Trinidad and Tobago. President Nielsen confirms there are five reports currently before the fraud squad as they are currently compiling more cases. But as Kimari Fletcher tells us, the Dental Association is also sounding an alarm over hundreds of unregistered dentists, including migrants, who are operating without qualification. There's a popular saying, good things are never cheap, and cheap things are never good. This, the Dental Association warns, applies especially to cheap dental work. Uh, a lot of citizens are getting fooled by the prices because they're seeing these lower, lower prices and they're also seeing convenience. Or people are working out of their hair saloons and they're telling you, come and we'll do a whitening for you one time. Or come and we'll put on veneers for you. But you're working out of a barber shop. Ram Nanan warns that these unregistered dentists have been causing major damage to patients. We all talk about it because we all see patients and they're coming in with rampant infections. Um, one of the most prevalent infections that we are seeing from patients who go by these unregistered individuals, it would be gum disease. He says these patients end up right back at the registered clinics. But the chairman of the Dental Council says they have no power to address the issue. The board itself, we have the power to deal with registered dentists. Because if you're not registered with us, then we don't have any power to at least address that issue. If there's a complaint, the complaint has to go through the police, right? And the police has to investigate it. And then they have to do a process through the DPP office before the dental board could get involved to assist in prosecuting that person. And the likelihood of a police officer investigating a complaint of a patient about a, when they're a quack or an uh, unregistered dentist. In these days of the other crime issues we have, I don't think it's going to be a high priority. Here's how you can identify a fake dentist. You look for certificates. Um, one big tell to your signs if the person is telling you that, that they can't sign a prescription or they can't sign your insurance forms. That's a major red flag, right? The association is now calling on Health Minister Terence Dial Singh to immediately step in. But the health minister tells CNC3 News that it is not his responsibility and directed us to the medical board. The media is unwilling to go to the people who are responsible for regulating their professions and they expect the minister to do it. And I will not fall into that political trap. Let Dr. Neil Singh account for the stewardship of his medical board. But the medical board president says there's only so much the board can do. But when you're a non-doctor posing as a doctor, when you're a doctor from a foreign country, practicing here without a license, when you're a doctor who have been who have been found guilty of an offense in another country and come back to practice here, that's where our our problems, our limitations are. Our hands are tied with these non-doctors who are claiming who are claiming to be to be doctors who are doing work. I can send you evidence of complaints. I can send you the evidence we have of doctors writing prescriptions who are not doctors, fictitious prescriptions being being used to, 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 to defraud insurance companies. We have plenty of we have two or three of those. So it's a real thing. But again, it is. How do we manage with it? We don't have the necessary resources to run down these non-doctors or whatever. All we can do is refer to the police, and the police themselves are swamped with fraud cases. K. Marie Fletcher, CNC3 News. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley will finally meet with the relatives of the four divers who died in the Paria tragedy two years ago. Last Thursday, Rishi Nagasa's wife delivered a letter to the Prime Minister's office asking for a meeting. The letter was signed by relatives of all of the deceased divers, including the lone survivor, 
Christopher Boudram. Dr. Rowley confirmed to the media that he has asked his office to reach out to the diver's relatives for a meeting on Wednesday. February 25th marked two years since the tragedy. A commission of inquiry report recommended that state-owned Paria be charged with corporate manslaughter. The government has since submitted the report to the director of public prosecutions. Mayaro MP Rushton Parry is seeking to clarify that his concerns over the UNC's internal elections are in no way an attack on the legitimacy of Kamla Prasad Bisesa as political leader of the party. Parry says his call for the internal elections to be held when it's constitutionally due in June was a measured statement and not a vociferous attack on Prasad Bisesa, as is being perceived by many UNC members. Parry says he's taken note of the support Pissad Bisasa has received from fellow opposition MPs who are stating that there's only one party and one leader. According to him, he in no way suggested there should be more than one leader. He says his intention is to ensure the UNC is in the best possible shape to tackle the PNM in the next general elections. Meanwhile, Tabakit MP Anita Haynes-Allen says she supports the call for internal elections in the United National Congress, but the senior UNC member is stressing that calling for the internal election is not the same as supporting Mayaro MP Rashtan Pari or going against political leader Kamla Prasad Bisesa. She notes that she supports Kamla Prasad Bisesa because she is the duly elected political leader of the party. On the morning brew, Haynes-Allen says internal elections are about putting forward the best candidates chosen by the party to contest a general election. She says even if the general election is called early, the United National Congress should be seen as a resilient enough party to survive both an internal election and a general election. Meanwhile, the general election bell hasn't been rung as yet, but already one candidate has put his name in the running. Political leader of the National Transformation Alliance, Gary Griffith, will contest the St. Joseph seat whenever it is called. In a release, Griffith said he was born and raised in St. Joseph and lived almost half his life in that constituency. Even though Griffith and the NTA teamed up with the United National Congress for the local government election, it is unclear if that alliance will go through to the general election. However, St. Joseph MP Terence Dialsing isn't phased by Griffith's announcement to contest the seat in the upcoming general election. In fact, Dialsing broke out in song today, singing the stylistics 1970s classic, Make Up or Break Up. Make up to break up, that's all we do. First you love me, then you hate me, that's a game for fools. They are playing the fool, and they are taking the people of St. Joseph for fools. And we are not going to be fooled by the shenanigans of Gary Griffith and Kamla Pasad Bisesa. I think he hit much of the right notes there. Dial Singh has been the MP for St. Joseph since 2013. Following a by-election, he again won the seat in 2015 and then again in 2020. Still to come in the news, the finance minister reveals how much he has to pay in property tax and how he felt about his ministry's valuation. And coming up later on in sport, we hear from two of the young athletes flying the flag at the Carifta Games this weekend. At Bagwan Singh Sport of Spain and Shagonas, we are committed to providing quality products for all major building projects. Let's build together with rebars and beams, VRC coils and mats, RHS and angles, roofing sheets and purlins, lumber, plywood and MDF. Bagwan Singh's building homes, building communities, building TNT for over 60 years. Bagwan Singh Sport of Spain and Shagonas, building value every day. On the outside, many of us look healthy, but there could be trouble brewing inside. High levels of bad cholesterol can lead to heart disease, a leading cause of death in Trinidad and Tobago. Reduce your risk with a balanced diet, regular exercise, and Jameson's Omega 369 so you can be in good shape inside and out. Jameson Omega 369, clinically proven to reduce cholesterol.
An assurance from the Public Utilities Minister that there will be no mass layoffs at the Water and Sewerage Authority. Minister Marvin Gonzalez is responding to claims by Princess Town Member of Parliament Barry Paderat and UNC Senator Wade Mark that over 2,000 WASA workers will be sent home. Minister Gonzalez said it was a UNC-led government that began the restructuring process at WASA. Today, they talk about 2,500 workers. It is they who told the IDB to get access to $1 billion that they are going to restructure WASA and that they are going to separate 2,500 workers. When they could respond to that, when they can respond to that, then I am prepared to have a sincere and a genuine conversation with them. Well, over the weekend, Minister Gonzalez confirmed that WASA's restructuring exercise is well underway, first targeting the company's 426 managers who do not fall within the collective bargaining agreement. He says government remains committed to consulting with unions during the process. So Minister Marvin Gonzalez was commissioning a water treatment plant in Tobago earlier today, so we wanted to ask members of the public if they believe WASA's billion-dollar investment in wells and two diesel plants will help underserved communities. Here's tonight's People See. The People Say, brought to you by Excel Health TT, the official supplement of the CPL. Yes. Why? Huh? Why? I mean, I, I didn't mind this when it's sufficient enough for everybody to get water. That's why I feel. I feel that money going to waste. I believe so, you know. Why? Because it's all, it's all, all which part they distribute it. If, if the communities and them would really get it. I believe so, you know. I believe so because I'm um, going to say nothing stay one way all the time. You have to have development, and development is progress. And to uh, enhance the, the communities, different communities, and so they have a better water supply. Yes. Why? Yes, because, you know, it's people will really see in trouble for water, and I hope, I hope everything will be okay as we do that. Yeah, I think it will be a good idea and it will help for who don't get water. Yes, I think that will help in a big way because 2024, a lot of people still have to buy water, get trucks to bring up water to them. It's very sad. The People Say, brought to you by Excel Health TT, the official supplement of the CPL. The joint trade union movement is not supporting the government's property tax. Finance Minister Com Imbert is adamant that property tax will be collected this year and will help to better serve communities. And even as the government proposed a reduction in the residential rate from 3 to 2 percent, JTAM President Ansel Roger says the population simply can't afford to pay the tax at this time. He says the government is losing touch with the population. An admission from the finance minister today that even he too does not fully agree with the annual rental value placed on his own home as the population gets ready to pay their property taxes. Amendments to the property tax bill are being debated in the Senate after being passed in the House of Representatives. And today the opposition said the public would be more amenable to the tax if they had confidence that their valuations are being done fairly. Aka Samaru has more. It was quite a surprise to hear the finance minister reveal his annual property tax valuation. 25,000 dollars a month, believe it or not. So I have to pay a uh, uh, property tax of $9,000 a year. Even more surprising that Minister Imbert admitted to the upper house that he himself thought it was too high. I myself, when I saw it, thought it was a little bit on the high side because my house is 35 years old and it is not architect design. Not that he is going to object it, as the minister defended the formula used to calculate the tax. This idea that the valuation division are sort of crazy people, and they didn't follow any formula, and they did no analysis, and they haven't followed international best practice, is nonsense. But opposition Senator Jayanti Lachmidial said people do not have the same confidence in that process. We will never send a host of unqualified people to stand up and conduct curbside valuations. Senator Lachmidial said even by extending the period for objection, a homeowner will still have to pay the tax while their objection is being deliberated on. She believes a time frame must be implemented for those objections to be dealt with. The people of this country are so fed up of being beaten up by the PNM and beaten down that they are saying, no, well, all right, we will pay the tax, but at least make it fair now. That's what they are saying, you know, we will pay the tax, but make it fair, make the valuation fair, make the objection process fair. 
Meanwhile, Independent Senator Hazel thompson argued that the paying of taxes on your property should never have been stopped. But she believes the public reluctance will fade away once government ensures that those tasked with valuating properties do so with integrity. Once there's public confidence in the system, it should be smooth sailing from then on. This amendment bill was passed in the lower house last week and reduces the rate of taxation by 1% while extending the challenge period to annual rental values from 30 days to 6 months. Akash Samaru, CNC3 News. In tonight's Business Watch, over six million in grants provided to SMEs in the non-energy sector since September of last year. Meanwhile, a new option for cybersecurity is coming to the region. Peter Christopher tells us more. Business Watch, brought to you by Flow. Flow, working for you on Tobago's newest fiber network. Since September, the Ministry of Trade and Industry has distributed over $6 million in grants, Trade Minister Paul Agopiskun has revealed. In a grant distribution ceremony hosted at the Ministry's headquarters at Nicholas Tower on Monday, the Minister says these grants were part of the Ministry's mandate to build globally competitive businesses to support the expansion of the non-energy sector. The 37 recipients received funding via various facilities including the Grant Fund Facility, the Research and Development Facility, the Grant Facility for Micro and Small Enterprises in the Yachting Sector, the Steel Pan Manufacturing Grant Fund Facility, the Export Booster Initiative, and the Music Business Development Grant. Visa has identified a notable increase in the number of transactions using Visa payment options during the Carnival season. In a release today, Visa states the number of Visa transactions during Carnival 2024 increased by almost 20% in comparison to Carnival 2023, while contactless transactions were more than doubled in growth. Visa says this indicates the growing acceptance and adoption of digital payments. Visa's analysis of transactions during Carnival 2024 shows transactions in key merchant segments, supermarkets, restaurants, gas stations, and telecommunications showed double-digit growth year over year, while there was a simultaneous reduction in ATM withdrawals. Peter Christopher, CNC3 Business Watch. Business Watch, brought to you by Flow. Flow. Working for you on Tobago's newest fiber network. Let's take a break. Stay with us. Cash back craziness. Yes, it's insane, but we're giving away a total of $300,000. Sign up or upgrade to our everything plans for an instant reward of $250 cash back on your bill. Or pay your bill on time for a chance to win. Get in on the cash back craziness. Visit discoverflow.co today. Flow, inspired by you. March Madness at Standard. Get $100 cash back for every $1,000 you spend with same-day financing available. Standard. Never beaten on quality and price. Need a new ride now? Get pre-qualified for a vehicle loan at AnswerBank.com and win 0% interest for one year. Walk into Answer Bank's Road Ready event on Saturday, 13th April 2024. Sense of Excellence McCoya from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to choose your brand new ride. Get access to multiple dealerships on site. Get pre-qualified at AnswerBank.com. Terms and conditions apply. Jimmy Abood will pay your VAT until Good Friday. 
take 12.5% off any item. No exceptions at our Port of Spain and Barataria locations. From now until Good Friday, Jimmy Aboud pays your VAT on any purchase. Is probiotics XL connected to immune health? Absolutely. 70% of your immune system resides in your gastrointestinal tract. Everyone should take a probiotic. So doc, tell me something. What are some of the benefits of probiotics XL? It helps with regularity. It helps prevent gas, bloating, belching, all the annoying symptoms that people get in their tummies. It's It just makes people feel better. Probiotic XL. Get yours today. Enterprises Limited Lent 10 Special Sale from the 21st of February until the 28th of March. Shrimp 16 to 20, peel and devein, two pounds, $130. Kingfish steaks, five pounds, $155. Yellowfin tuna steaks, five pounds, $85. Smoked salmon, 8.8 ounces, $65. Salmon steaks, five pounds, $160. Spring roll skins, 12 ounces, $16. Shrimps, 41 to 50, two pounds, $90. And red snapper, $23 per pound. Call 612-4367 or visit any of our locations. Imagine the future of Trinidad and Tobago if there was no more child abuse. What would the future look like? What would you be willing to do to make it a reality? Would you be a better parent, brother, sister, teacher or neighbor? You don't have to wait for the future. You can make that happen right now. You can be the hero in someone's story. Child abuse can be prevented. If you suspect something, say something. Together we can make a difference because child protection is everybody's business. Ramadan Kareem from Southern Food Basket. Get goat stew $22.95 per pound, beef stew five pounds for $99, Rabi dates 500 gram $24.95, Sultanas $8.95 per pound, extra large chana two pounds for $18.95, split peas five pounds for $17.95, cocoa two liter three for $24.95, blue waters 410 ml five cases for $100, Mabel's ketchup 750 ml three for $22.95, Smart Buy paper towels four for $17.95. Get the best for less at Southern Food Basket this Ramadan. Visit us at Coffee Street San Fernando, SS Erin Road Pinal, St. Charles Village Princess Town, Southern Main Road Point 14. joins us now for a look at the weather forecast. Clean, a not a lot of rain, some nice light showers on Saturday morning for several hours. Yeah. I must say, it, it yeah. went beyond the several minutes that we had kind of forecast, but I totally enjoyed it. Yeah, well, we had some showers over the weekend because we had a weak low-level trough. And this week, it's going to be nothing but sunshine for most of Trinidad and Tobago. So let's go take a look what's going on across the Atlantic. What we do have is a uh, frontal system moving across the Leeward Islands. That's going to weaken the high pressure system that is across Trinidad and Tobago right now. And the result will be warmer temperatures, lighter winds, and we have a dry atmosphere in place. So that will inhibit cloud development, leading to mostly sunny skies as we head through the week. And with dry conditions prevailing, that means that bushfires will prevail as well. Not a lot of Saharan dust near Trinidad and Tobago or moving across the Atlantic. Now, air quality still remains at moderate levels for most of Trinidad and Tobago, and that's as, as a result of smoke from the many bushfires prevailing across the country. For tomorrow, good to moderate air quality forecast. And for tonight, 
Things remain mostly settled, partly cloudy conditions barring the odd isolated shower, but minimum lows fairly cool between 22 to 25 degrees in some areas, trending cooler in interior areas of the island. For tomorrow, another mostly hot and sunny day. Maximum high temperatures at Piaco coming in at around 34 degrees Celsius today. It's quite a scorching day, up to 34.5 degrees at the airport, 37 degrees elsewhere across western and urbanized areas. As you head out tomorrow, that heat index could be up to the mid 40s so really walk with your water and sunscreen as you head out there for those looking to take a dip in at the beach seas right now remain slight to moderate waves up to 1.5 meters in open waters and in sheltered areas waves less than half a meter for the next couple of days mostly sunny skies very hot temperatures with maximum highs over 34 degrees Celsius. 34 all the way down. Absolutely, yeah. Very, That's very hot conditions. Hot but there was some shaking this morning. That's right. We had two very light earthquakes, magnitude 4.1 and 4.2, occurring just after 3 a.m. and after 8 a.m. Some people in northwestern Trinidad felt the shaking, but this is a reminder that our weather does not dictate earthquakes. There's no such thing as earthquake weather. They can happen at any point in time during the day or night, so it's important to know what to do when a bigger earthquake strikes which is a drop, cover, and, and hold. hold. Right. And of course, Rhea and I didn't feel anything. We all. did not. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, Colleen. Let's take a break. Stay with us. Did the holiday spending put a dent in your cash? Well, here what? Top up your pocket in the Cash Splash promotion. Win over $200,000, including over 65000 in our weekly draws. Well, here what to do. Grab any cold, cold, turbo energy drink, fruiter, cool kids, Viva, or Oasis water. Then visit Facebook or Instagram at Cold Cold Caribbean or Fruiter Fruit Juice Official for more details. Let's top up your pocket with the Cash Splash promotion. life's twists, turns, and defining moments. RBC is a plan for all of you. It's March Madness at Standard. Get $100 cash back for every $1,000 you spend with same-day financing available. Standard, never beaten on quality and price. Introducing Pentax Water Pumps. With state-of-the-art Italian engineering and over 34 years of manufacturing experience, Pentax Pumps are the epitome of quality and reliability. Rest easy with our new and improved three-year warranty and after-sale support, ensuring your satisfaction. Choose Pentax Pumps for unrivaled reputation and outstanding performance. Where there's water, there's Pentax. Need a new right now? Get pre-qualified for a vehicle loan at AnswerBank.com and win 0% interest for one year. Walk into Answer Bank's Road Ready event on Saturday, 13th April 2024. Sense of Excellence McCoy from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to choose your brand new ride. Get access to multiple dealerships on site. Get pre-qualified at AnswerBank.com. Terms and conditions apply. If you don't eat food as medicine now, later you will be eating medicine as food. So, what's the best remedy for a longer, healthier life during these critical times? Eating the right foods, exercising, getting enough sleep, cutting back on alcohol, and a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-XL is not from fish. Try Omega-XL. The only thing you have to lose is the pain. Ferrera Optical is inside Massey Stores, Gulfview and Marabella. Explore our bold and trendy collections of eyewear. Experience the latest lens technology. Earn and redeem points with your Massey card at Ferrera Optical inside Massey Stores, Gulfview and Marabella. 
cancer. Whether you have it or your doctors are looking for it, only a PET scan can give the critical details. First world countries now use PET scans instead of CT scans. Get the right scan. Get a PET scan. Call us for a free consultation. Enhance the space with extreme home and tiles crying limited. Get porcelain, ceramic tiles, decorative security doors, toilet sets, space waste, and more. Visit us at Perseverance Road Chase Village Corners or call 299-3271 for more info. Enhance the space with extreme home and tiles crying limited. Get porcelain, ceramic tiles, decorative security doors, toilet sets, space waste, and more. Visit us at Perseverance Road Chase Village Corners or call 299-3271 for more info. Jimmy Abood will pay your VAT until Good Friday. Take 12.5% off any item. No exceptions at our Port of Spain and Barataria locations. From now until Good Friday, Jimmy Abood pays your VAT on any purchase. Are you feeling unwell? Did your doctor misdiagnose you? If so, a PET scan is what you need. Unlike all other scans, a PET scan detects 90% of cancers, especially where CT and MRI fail to do so and fool you and your doctor. If you have to ask, do I have cancer? A PET scan is your best option. When it comes to cancer, a PET scan gives the answer. Call us for a free consultation. Wishing you a blessed Ramadan. Give the gift of food with a family in need. Available in store at 150, 200, 300, and 400 dollar food bags. Enjoy savings all month with Ramadan specials. Get small gala apples 10 for 20, carrots 3 packs for 20, rabi dates 500 grams 25 dollars, Ovaltine biscuits 6 for 20, chana 3 pounds for 20, raisin and sultanas 2 pounds for 20, 4 z vermicelli 200 grams 4 for 20, happy condensed milk 2 for 20, regal almonds 50 grams 3 for 20, Nestle's full cream milk buy 3 get free carnation 40 dollars. This Eid you have the chance to win one of 12 shopping vouchers. Participate by spending $300 or more and submitting your entry into one of the designated entry boxes at any SNS Passat Supermarket stores. Promotion runs until April 10, 2024. Four convenient locations, Rio Claro, Mayaro and Freeport. SNS Passat Supermarket, loyal to local. Back. Inflation does not just affect one country, it is a global situation that citizens have been grappling with, and it affects everyone from consumers to businesses to policymakers. In an inflationary environment, rising prices inevitably reduce the purchasing power of some consumers, and this erosion of income is the single biggest cost of inflation. Here's more in tonight's Money Matters. Money Matters. Brought to you by Answer Bank. Inflation reduces the value of your money over time. Although $100 can buy 10 loaves of bread today, if inflation is high the next year, the same 10 loaves of bread may cost $110 as a result of a price increase. Therefore, $100 would not buy you as much as it did before. Inflation is a general increase in cost, which reduces the purchasing power of your money. Here are a few tips on how to deal with inflation. 1. Review your budget. If you don't have a budget, it's time to create one. 2. Diversify your income. Take inventory of your skills and consider if there's an opportunity to start your next side hustle. 3. Invest. Investing in financial assets such as stocks is one of the most effective hedges against inflation and it's an adverse impact on your purchasing power. 4. Pay down high interest debt. Aggressively paying off high interest debt, including personal loans, payday loans, and credit cards can help free up cash to spend on other items. 5. Consider a cashback credit card. Many cashback credit cards offer an opportunity to earn 1% or 2% on regular purchases, and 5% or more on specialty purchases like travel, dining, or fuel. 6. Control discretionary spending. During periods of inflation, prioritize essential expenses and cut back on non-essential spending. 
Evaluate your budget and identify areas where you can reduce costs to cope with rising prices. For example, you can create a meal plan. Meal planning involves creating a schedule of what you are going to eat that week or month. 7. Speak to a financial advisor. A financial advisor can work with you to create a personalized plan for how to save and invest your money, helping you to achieve your short and long-term goals. Money Matters, brought to you by Answer Bank. Let's hand you over now to Joe Van to see what's coming up in sport. Thanks, Ryan. Coming up in sport, Pacers romp to the Dial Basketball title in exciting finale. And our man in Grenada sets the stage for this weekend's Carifta Games. Sport is up next. Need a new ride now? Get pre-qualified for a vehicle loan at AnswerBank.com and win 0% interest for one year. Walk into AnswerBank's Road Ready event on Saturday, 13th April 2024. Sense of Excellence McCoya from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to choose your brand new ride. Get access to multiple dealerships on site. Get pre-qualified at AnswerBank.com. Terms and conditions apply. Prostate cancer, the number one cancer in men. But there is good news. The PSMA PET scan is now available in Trinidad and Tobago. The only scan specific for prostate cancer and now the gold standard worldwide. This scan along with a biopsy is absolutely necessary, not only for proper diagnosis, but to make sure there is no spread or to see exactly where there is spread and if you're undergoing treatment to make sure that your treatment is working. If you have prostate cancer, tell your doctor you want a PSMA prostate scan. When it comes to cancer, a PET scan gives the answer. Call us for a free consultation. And now, CNC3 is pleased to donate $2,000 to each patient towards their PSMA prostate PET scan. Jimmy Abood will pay your VAT until Good Friday. Take 12.5% off any item. No exceptions at our Port of Spain and Barataria locations. From now until Good Friday, Jimmy Abood pays your VAT on any purchase. Step out in trendy eyewear. Two complete pairs of single vision eyewear for $5.95. Upgrade to designer frames with progressive transition lenses for $15.99 or buy focus and transition lenses for $12.99. Stylish eye care that won't break the bank. Visit us at Seaview Optical. Girl, it's bumper to bumper traffic I in here, and I'll definitely be late because I still have to pass by the ATM to get cash for you. So see, no, no, no. Don't put you on that. You can pay with cash. So just come straight, yeah. Ncash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use Ncash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on Ncash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Download the app and create your wallet today. Meantime rules. Don't serve yourself first. Do not eat with your mouth open. Don't make noise when eating does not apply when enjoying KFC Buckets or our new Wii Deal. Get the Wii Deal for only $34.95. The 2024 dry season is upon us, and with that expectation, harsh dry conditions, and in the face of rising global temperatures, we must all do our part to conserve our water use. At the Water and Sewerage Authority, we applaud the efforts made by citizens in 2023 to conserve water and value every drop. How can you get involved? By employing simple water conservation techniques at home. Here are some tips. Close the tap when brushing your teeth and washing dishes. Use a bucket instead of a hose when washing your vehicles and driveways. Repair leaks in toilets and overflowing water tanks. Use your washing machine for full loads only. Also, use the value every drop hashtag in your social media posts showing how you conserve our precious resource. Join the movement as we value every drop. Colgate Total gives you a superior antibacterial protection for whole mouth health and helps stop problems before they start. So your dentist ready. Mr. Walker. Oh, am I early? Be dentist ready with Colgate Total. Forget about bucket lists. We want to know what's on your best life list. Vacation. Education. 
renovation, celebration. Live your best life with Island Finance. Visit a branch near you or islandfinancetrinidad.com and live your best life now. You can depend on Island Finance. Subject to credit approval and documents verification. Did the holiday spending put a dent in your cash? Well, hear what? Top up your pocket in the Cash Splash promotion. Win over $200,000, including over 65000 in our weekly draws. Well, hear what to do. Grab any cold, cold, turbo energy drink, fruta, cool kids, Viva, or Oasis water. Then visit Facebook or Instagram at Cold Cold Caribbean or Fruta Fruit Juice Official for more details. Let's top up your pocket with the Cash Splash promotion. Probiotics Excel contains 11 probiotic strains. So we picked the ones that we thought would have the maximum beneficial impact for our people. Qualified for a vehicle loan at answerbank.com and win 0% interest for one year. Walk into Answer Bank's Road Ready event on Saturday, 13th April 2024. Sense of Excellence McCoy from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to choose your brand new ride. Get access to multiple dealerships on site. Get pre qualified at answerbank.com. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome back. It's time for sport. Despite falling short of their goals, Soka Warriors head coach Angus Eve is proud of the newest group to wear the national senior team shirt. Trinidad and Tobago lost 2-0 to Canada on Saturday, missing out on a chance to play at the Copa America 2024. Despite this, Eve sees the current squad as an investment into the future of the national team. Then we revamped the team um, in a very short space of time, and I thought that uh, all of the kids um, acquitted themselves very well. And today, again, you saw the kids... Um, they were very good, you know, and um, it, it's just uh, the process of uh, continuous uh, development and, and, and rebuilding the team. And, and those things normally take a longer time. And I think that we've done a lot in a very short space of time. And you can see the fruits of that uh, with games like these. Up next for Trinidad and Tobago, the CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers starting June 5th against Grenada. And speaking of Grenada, the 51st edition of the Carifta Games this Easter weekend holds great significance. For the first time since 2016, the island of Grenada welcomes the region's best junior athletes. More than this, the sporting spectacle has been married to the island's 50th anniversary of independence celebrations. Our team of Jassy Marik and cameraman Ignatius Wharton filed this report from the island. Carifta Games, brought to you by Island Finance. On the track, Grenada's team of 67 athletes, its largest ever contingent, prepares for the island's third time hosting the Carifta Games. In between the athletes, the pedicure continues. As we understand it, the over 700 athletes and officials expected to arrive on the island for the 51st edition also represents the largest number in event history. It is cheaper because travel costs and arrangements is a significant um, uh, factor that have to be considered. So you generally have, you know, the islands around can feel larger teams. An added reason why the Karani James Stadium will be sold out on all four days starting this Friday. Grenada's 50th anniversary of independence celebrated on February 7th. 
coming into Grenada, it is hard not to observe the national colors emblazoned everywhere that the eye can see. This country is celebrating its 50th anniversary of independence this year. And of course, the Corrupta Games, which will be held here at the Karani James uh, Athletic Stadium, is what a part of those celebrations. All the more reason why we understand that Grenadians are excited to take part in these games. It's consistent with a sort of mood. As you know, Grenada is celebrating 50 year independence. That went off quite well. There are a series of other events that will be hosted, and so uh, the celebratory mood is, is, is very high. From a technical standpoint, the Karani James Stadium's new track is barely a month old, but Moses assures the Spice Isle is ready. We are prepared. We have done all the training, all the practice runs, um, updating our technical officials. Uh, on the ground, we have both the organization and technical delegate have arrived, ensuring that everything... The Carifta Games will begin on March 29th and run until April 1st. Jassy Marik, CNC3 Sport, St. George's, Grenada. Carifta Games, brought to you by Island Finance. Now the anticipation is palpable as the days tick away to the start of the games, especially for the host contingent. Okurin Grenada sat in on one of the local team's training sessions at the Karani James Stadium today. In between, they had a chance to chat with head coach Wayne McSween. Actually, we recently pulled the team together because of eight games as intercall and so on, where the athletes had to be working with their coaches in the different schools. So we did not have much time as a team to gel, but we had enough time to prepare individually. So we're hoping all the individual preparation now we're going to just yield the success we so want. Now it may be too late for some of us to get over to Grenada, but Jassy and Ignatius will bring us as close as possible to what can be expected out of Grenada. I think we have such a large contingent coming into Grenada, 700 and something athletes. And it's because of the ambience and the setting and the people and everything. We're quite welcoming here. We, as we, we are referred to as the Isle of Spice, where everything is just nice. So, you know, and I think the tranquility and peacefulness of everybody and everything here is just like home. Grenada, sweet Grenada, this is home. Be sure to stay with CNC3 Sport for full coverage of the Carifta Games throughout this week and into the weekend. Switching sports, over the weekend, the Dial Basketball Tournament crowned its championship division champion and tipped off the Premier Division best of three finals. Kasten Cupid has the highlights as Maloney Pacers made the first step to claiming the double. Boasting a perfect season thus far, Sparta and Stiti were looking to put the icing on the cake with the championship title. But it was no surprise that Maloney Pacers had an axe to grind as their only defeat of the season came against their finals opponent and what better revenge to snatch the title at the final hurdle. Pacers in the blue held a 13-point lead at the end of the first quarter. They extended that 13-point lead to 29 at the half, 66-37 to and never looked back. Spartans tried to mount an incredible comeback but the trend continued throughout the third and fourth quarters as the writing was on the wall. Maloney Pacers was just too good on the night, securing the 108-82 final victory in fine style. And his seven G's, $7,000. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the Maloney Pacers! With his 27 points, 16 rebounds, 8 assists along with 4 big blocks, LaShawn Alfred was named the finals MVP. On Sunday, when the Premier Division best of three final series got going, it was Pacers who took a 1-0 lead when they trashed New Chapter Academy by 58 points. 111-53, to Game 2 is on Thursday. Caston Cupid, CNC3 Sport. For tonight's Sports High, it's access denied in the NBA. Last week, we celebrated the dunks. But rejection is a part of life. And this one from Kelly Oubre on Paul George was disgusting. George was sure he was getting a dunk and two points, but Oubre had other plans. So Kelly Oubre, for that rejection, you earn tonight CNC3 Sports Eye. Students and before Carifta athletes will be making that sport high oh, segment yeah. with Jassy bringing us all the highlights across all platforms here at Guardian Media. We're expecting some gold from that team as well. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you so much, Jovan. Let's take a break. Stay with us here on CNC3. The 
2024 dry season is upon us, and with that expectation, harsh dry conditions, and in the face of rising global temperatures, we must all do our part to conserve our water use. At the Water and Sewerage Authority, we applaud the efforts made by citizens in 2023 to conserve water and value every drop. How can you get involved? By employing simple water conservation techniques at home. Here are some tips. Close the tap when brushing your teeth and washing dishes. Use a bucket instead of a hose when washing your vehicles and driveways. Repair leaks in toilets and overflowing water tanks. Use your washing machine for full loads only. Also, use the value every drop hashtag in your social media posts showing how you conserve our precious resource. Join the movement as we value every drop. Step out in trendy eyewear. Two complete pairs of single vision eyewear for $5.95. Upgrade to designer frames with progressive transition lenses for $15.99 or buy focus and transition lenses for $12.99. Stylish eye care that won't break the bank. Visit us at Seaview Optical. Right now, get pre-qualified for a vehicle loan at AnswerBank.com and win 0% interest for one year. Walk into Answer Bank's Road Ready event on Saturday, 13th April 2024. Sense of Excellence McCoy from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to choose your brand new ride. Get access to multiple dealerships on site. Get pre-qualified at AnswerBank.com. Terms and conditions apply. Recession have you down? Don't lose hope. Head on down to Tire Clinic for the recession deals. That should fake savings with our road hazard warranty on Download Tommy Tom 1 Falcon Tires. Available at Tire Clinic, Cuba, Shigonas, and Pleasant's Park. Tire Clinic, a tire for every need. Call 636-8973 or 636-2958. Cancer. Whether you have it or your doctors are looking for it, only a PET scan can give the critical details. First two countries now use PET scans instead of CT scans. Get the right scan. Get a PET scan. Call us for a free consultation. It's been five years since Paria Fuel Trading Company Limited, Paria, began its journey as a subsidiary of Trinidad Petroleum Holdings Limited. As we celebrate our five-year anniversary, we reflect on all the highs, lows, challenges, and accomplishments. Paria has contributed to the local economy through job creation, high revenue, providing a reliable supply of fuel, corporate taxes, and community programs. We are grateful for our employees, contractors, and loyal customers who have helped us reach this milestone. We are Paria, celebrating five years, the passion and energy to make a difference. It's March Madness at Standard. Get $100 cash back for every $1,000 you spend with same-day financing available. Standard. Never beaten on quality and price. Probiotics Excel contains 11 probiotic strains. So we picked the ones that we thought would have the maximum beneficial impact for our people. Looking to replace your roof before the rain comes down and the prices go up? Built to Last Supply and Insulation Roofing Package will save you time and money. Enhance your property with a roof from Built to Last. Quality workmanship and quality material guaranteed. No hidden charges. Our name says it all. We Built to Last. Invest wisely. Built to Last Hardware and Roof Manufacturing Limited. Southern Main Road, Freeport. Call 355-7703. Remember, the wise man built his roof in the dry season. Get a loan at Bremont. The process is simple. Fast and efficient approvals. Receive funds within 24 hours once approved. And no penalty for early repayment. Located at 4 Gallon Street, Woodbrook. Remember, we like to lend. Gaming Express Limited is a premium importer and retailer of the highest quality brand name electronics. We stock the widest range of PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, Samsung and Apple devices and accessories. Visit us at Shop 52, Level 2, Gulf City Mall in San Fernando. Or contact us by phone or WhatsApp message at 687-7480 or 301-9797 or 798-1280. Like our Facebook and Instagram pages for updates on products and services. Plumbing problems? 
Don't guess. Call Plumbing Solutions at 6284646. Proud to be serving Trinidad and Tobago for over 20 years. We do it all. Maintenance and repairs, new construction, sewer lines, inspection, drain cleaning, leak detection. We are licensed and insured. So call Plumbing Solutions at 6284646. Taking a look regionally, death threats and security concerns hinder the swearing-in of Haiti's transitional presidential council responsible for choosing the country's new leader. On Sunday, one of the newest people chosen to sit on the nine-member council stepped down, forcing the council to scramble to replace her. Officials say this resulted in a flurry of meetings on Monday with Caribbean leaders and officials from the United States, Canada and France. With the delay in establishing the council, gang attacks continue in Haiti's capital. For the Islamic community, Ramadan is a blessed month. And during this time, Muslims across the world observe the five pillars of Islam with utmost reverence. And while the observance may vary from country to country, we learn tonight that there are also similarities. Ramadan Reminder, brought to you by Sheikh Lisha Limited. Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu stajibu lillahi wa lirrasooli idha da'akum lima yuhiyikum. Blessed with the gift of Quranic memorization, Sheikh Saeed Adam's recitations resonate with the Muslim faithful. Reflecting on his journey, Sheikh Adam shares insights into the cultural nuances between the observance of Islam in TNT and Ghana. Despite some differences, the essence of Islam devotion remains unwavering. So the way people fast doesn't differ from here in Ghana. No, it's the same thing. But how they break the fast, maybe there are some differences. In Ghana, oh, we thank Allah. Everybody will bring his food out there in the masjid around, say, around 6 o'clock. Meanwhile, Mufti Mohammed Zaidur Raza notes some commonalities between Eid in this country and India. The similarities in India and in Trinidad, Muslims, religious-wise, uh, we see same preparation. They prepare moderately and they buy beautiful dresses, and markets are open late night, like in the last week of Ramadan, like whole night sometimes markets are open in cities in India. And in India, he says a popular Eid delicacy has a big role. Sawain has a big role to play in market and to include the crowd. In Turkey, people like baklava for a special iftar or Eid enjoyed with Turkish coffee. Whereas in Uzbekistan, patir, a crispy and buttery bread baked in a traditional tandoor oven, is relished during Ramadan. And while the food may differ from country to country, so too do the traditions. In Pakistan, young people go around houses in groups encouraging people to wake up to fast by chanting inspirational quotes. Another part of Ramadan culture is the marking of iftar time. Cannons are fired to announce iftar time in Syria. In some other countries like Pakistan, sirens announce the breaking of the fast. While Ramadan traditions differ worldwide, one aspect remains the same, and that is donating to charity is an integral feature of Ramadan, no matter where you're based. Therese Polo, CNC3 News. Ramadan Reminder, brought to you by Sheikh Lisha Limited. It's time to recap our headlines. Days after they hand-delivered a letter, the Prime Minister is open to meeting with relatives of the deceased LMCS divers. With more than five reports made to the police, the Dental Association wants action against quack dentists. In sport, Angus Eve proud of young players' progress thus far. Hot and sunny conditions forecast for both islands tomorrow. As we leave you, let's remind you to stay connected with us on our social media platforms. There you'll find tonight's stories, the latest updates and exclusive content. And don't forget to pick up a copy of your TNT Guardian newspaper. We've come to the end of the 7 p.m. news on CNC3. Thanks for watching. I'm Ria Rambali. I'm Ryan Bechu. I'm Joe Van Ravello. And I'm Colleen Hussain. Have a good night.